I thought of my seventh grade typing class. I know my mind is a mystery, but welcome to it. 1977, Southwest Junior High, Albert Lee, typing class. So my best friend, George Chavez, and I went through a period where we threw Frisbee all the time. And we went into the typing class one day, and there's nobody else in it, and we had this Einstein idea to look at the teacher and say, would it be okay if George and I throw the Frisbee in class before people come in? Bright question. But the teacher said, and I quote, you can if you want. Did you hear a no in there? So, every single time before class, George and I threw the Frisbee. Some people did play along, but they were smart enough to not really be part of the reindeer games. But as soon as class started, I sat and I typed my fingers off. Report card came. I received a D. Now, I'm an old person, and we had these little boxes that teachers would put comments in. For example, you could have attentive in class or participates fully in class discussions. I never had those. You could write in there, he has the attention span of a gnat or he goofs off in class, things that I had. But in this, it was a D. And then in the comment section was inappropriate classroom behavior. I've told you this before. I had kind of a weird academic career. I barely got into college, and then I aced everything after that. But I got a lot of Ds when I was in middle school and high school. So my mom and dad saw the D, and they went, OK. But then my father, who's very strict in actions and discipline, and my mother was then a retired school teacher, they didn't like that because they said academics is one thing, behavior is yet another. We want you to be a good person. So we had a conference. So it's my dad and me in the middle and my mom and my father went to Luther College and he went to the national debate contest as a first year student and he won. So he was going to take control of this discussion. No pleasantries. Mission. Our son got a D. Did he do his homework? Teacher looked. Yes. Did he participate in class? Yes. How about his test scores? Looked at the book. Some B minuses. Some Cs. My father said, I remember, I'm not really good at math, but uh, that's not a D. Then the teacher said, well, that might have something to do with the comment section. And then I realized my dad and the teacher were starting. My dad said, well, unpack that for me, will you? He said, well, your son and George decided to play Frisbee in class every single day. And I was sitting there and I, was, I, I wanted to raise my hand, but I wanted to tell my father and mother, and I did, and I said, by the way, may I add that we asked the teacher, what did the teacher say? I said, he said, we can if we want. My dad looked at the teacher. This is like a tennis match. And my dad's five foot seven, but intense, and he said, did you? The teacher said, yes. My father said, well, I'm confused. If you said he can if he wants, and he did with his friend, why the comment? The teacher said, and on my mother's honor, he said, I never told him, nor did he ask what would happen if he did throw the Frisbee in class. You feel me? That's why I don't say the teacher's name. Because that's low. That's wrong. So my father, 
He was always wanting to try to finish a battle. He said, we're done here. We helped my mom who walked slowly because of MS and we walked to the car. And I, as I passed friends in the hallway, I was thinking, dead men walking here. Uh, this is not going to be good. If I had $25 for every time my father yelled at me because my father is very stern, I would be retired now. And so I sat in the car, Honda Accord Silver, and I had my father looking at me in the rearview mirror. And my father looked at me and said, people, especially those in leadership, should always tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. What he did was wrong. But you will never throw another Frisbee in a building ever again. Capiche? Capache.